What is up, everybody? And welcome back to Italian Football TV. Why are you doing this? this? Why are you doing this? What are you, what are you doing? Stop. <laughs> All right, guys. We're a little bit delusional right now. Since 7 in the morning, we've been up. We've been working. We did our whole photo shoot for the merch that's going to be dropped. We did a photo shoot at first. You guys saw that. We weren't happy with it. We did it again. It's now 11 o'clock at night, and we got to do a video. Guys, I can barely keep my eyes open, but we got to do this review. Well, we're, we're a little crazy. We're jumping off walls. A bit. We're screaming our neighbors. We're going coffee. crazy. Yeah, it's so, cool. yeah. It's cool. We'll learn about the city. Yeah. Anyway, we got great day. Lazio started us off a 3-0 win over Udinese. We did miss this match. We caught some of the highlights. We know the storylines in this one. And Lazio, again, Michael, again, scoring three goals or more against Udinese, which is a tough team. Massimo Odo said this was a lie of a result. He's like, we didn't deserve to lose 3-0. But either way, Lazio stay in third place. Now three points ahead at 46 points. Dude, total. they're playing amazing. Ridiculous. Yeah, they're not tied with Inter anymore. They're on their own on third place. And they scored three goals. They had the most goals in the Serie A. 56 goals Insane. right ahead of Juventus. And they didn't even need Chiro Immobile. The Capo Cagnoniere yeah. in the Serie A. That shows... How they don't rely just on one player. Dude, we posted on Instagram what team you play on in FIFA. And a lot of people were commenting like Real Madrid, Man U. I kept telling yeah. them play as Lazio. And then today in the photo shoot when we got that kid who was wearing a PSG jersey. I think we got the, the footage of that. He was wearing a PSG jersey. And then he told me he was a Barca fan. And I was like, yo, dude, you got to support like a team like Lazio that would fit a lot better. All right, bro. Nice nice to to Italian team, okay? Uh, yeah, got watch it. it. Got to teach the kids these days. PSG, <laughs> Barcelona fan. And you know what? Lazio are killing it. Simone Inzaghi is killing the game. But another team that is getting back to some sick form, Sampdoria, 1-1 over Roma. It did come with controversy. The controversy came after Fabio Quagliarella bagged in his 16th goal of the season, which is incredible. This guy's on fire. It, goal. it was from a penalty, a little controversial, right? In this play, Struman beat one of the Sampdoria players on one end of the field. He was completely fouled. And if you look back on this footage, the linesman even pulled up his flag saying this was a foul. The referee allowed this play to keep going. Sampdoria went on the counterattack, crossed the ball in, hit Coloro's arm. They gave the penalty on that same play where if they would have given the foul, which should have been, it would have done it. The craziest thing. They went to VAR to check if it was a handball. They didn't check the whole play to see if it was a foul. Ridiculous. Another problem that we never realized with VAR that we learned this round. Yeah, I mean, uh, what else game. could you say? But it was towards the end. We all thought we thought some were going to steal the three points. But guess who who, score, who scores at the death? Edin Dzeko. The person uh, that's rumored to go to Chelsea any day now if yeah. everything falls through. Well, we're going to get into also some of the transfer news too. A little bit of a mm. hybrid between both of the things. Yeah, so Dzeko scores in the 91st minute to give Roma this this tie against Sampdoria, which was very, very tough. Di Francesco, after the match, said this was a BS result. Like, we deserve to win. Roma had a lot of chances. He's like, this kind of stuff can't happen. He was pissed. And, of course, he should be pissed because that shouldn't have been a penalty for Sampdoria because of the play before with Schumann. Mm -hmm. But let's move on because, you know, Sampdoria are back. And I also want to say, how many goals does Ronaldo have this season, Michael? Ronaldo, I think he has six goals right under Milinkovic Savic. Yep. Oh, I like how you said that. Double his goals. How many goals will he have? Quick Double maths. that's 12 quick mass right there. Quick mass. That's still not as many as 35 year old Fabio Cuadrado has. Almost turning 35 in a few more days. That's yep. incredible. The Beautiful. form of love his him. life and it's love doing him. amazing. Love, love, love him. Anyway, moving on from this, uh, Roma will probably be happy. Let's talk about Jekyll. We spoke about Jekyll. Let's talk about what the news is on the transfer market. Right before the game, Monchi came out saying, We don't like the offer that Chelsea has, it is not satisfying our needs. Sky Italia, who is the most reliable source, the Marcio and Co., say that there is an agreement between Roma and Chelsea, 50 million plus 10 million in bonuses. But Di Marcio says that Jekyll has not agreed to join. And I'm hoping that this goal means he's getting sentimental. He wants to stay at Roma. He wants to play in the Champions League. He wants to play at a great team. And he doesn't want to make the move to Chelsea. But that's an optimist in me. What do you that think, is, uh, I feel like he doesn't want to go to Chelsea. The only thing really holding him back is him being cup tied and him not being able to play in the Champions League. I feel Very like if he be. was able to play in the Champions League, he would have left already, to yep. be honest. Guys, let us know what you think. Hopefully, by the time this video goes out tomorrow morning, um, nothing else happened. Other news, João Mario is leaving Inter. He is joining West Ham on a loan. Jeez. I know a lot of Inter fans will be happy to see him go. And what I really like is Di Marcio came out with the news that Pastore 
has agreed to join Inter, but the big problem is Inter and PSG need to agree on a price, and Inter can't buy anyone. It has to be a loan with obligation to buy, which is going to be super tough to convince PSG, but either way, Hopefully, 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 hopefully they do. Pastore would be the perfect person. Um, some other news that we'll just run to. Napoli are getting this 24-year-old German winger from Ajax, Amin Younes, for 5 million euros. We don't know anything about him. If you do, comment below. Jajic is expected to probably be leaving Torino now that Mihalovic, who was a big fan of his, is not there. And under Mazzari, he's not likely to get much time. Spartak Moscow of Carrera have offered 10 million. We'll see where that goes. And Juve met with Genoa to speak about the 16-year-old Pellegrini today. And they will also meet with Han Kwang Song of Cagliari to see what they can do. That is the transfer news real quick. We cut out the BS. There's a lot of BS going around, Mike. It is, but yes. we got to only talk about the things that matter and the things that are reliable as far as reliable sources go. It was a pretty good uh, day not being a uh, cultural weekend, you know, not, not, now since the two mid-week. games played, yeah, that midweek game. It was super stressful, bro. It was stressful. We're in that beautiful view when we couldn't even enjoy it because we are like going crazy. I like know, that. but it was fun. There were some controversies, there were some transfer rumors, and we did get in two Serie A games, so it's always a great day when that happens. Yes, guys, let us know if you enjoyed this culture day, your thoughts on all the rumors, let us know down below, and as always, we'll talk to you soon. Ciao, Ciao ragazzi. <laughs> we got a goat. Yeah. You do that entertainment, bro. Your mom slapped the <laughs> out of you, though, right? For Crotone to win the Scudetto, would you jump in that water right now? Crotone to yeah. win the Scudetto. Anything to win the Scudetto, Scudetto except for you, but I do it. Looks like you're about to <laughs> take over this city. Not the city, it's the world. Hey!